All right, guys, I'm going to do a video because I'm getting a BBL on December 13th, this Friday, and today's December, what? I don't know, 7th. 7th, and so I'm a week out, I don't know, but today's Monday, and I get my stuff done on Friday. Today's Sunday. <laughs> what? Today's Sunday. <laughs> today's Sunday, okay, whatever, today's Sunday. Our days are so screwed up. Okay, Ruben's a fat girl eating... Menudo on the bed, and the bed's all fucked because he took all the blankets off to wash. Say hi to your dad. Hi. I haven't seen him in a minute. Hi, Dad. I don't know if it's supposed to be this way or this way. Mm. When I turn it this way. We'll find out. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you guys everything that I got for my BBL um, that supposedly is supposed to help me get through all of it. So, first, I got a peewee. So this funnel you put on your vagina and it's supposed to help you pee standing because you're not able to sit on your butt for weeks. And then I got Millerax and suppositories because all the painkillers they gave me Norco are going to make me constipated and my butt's already going to be swollen and not feeling good. So I got this to help me out. And I bought baby cereal because I really don't want to have a hard ass shit. <laughs> and I got soup, <laughs> heck of soups, um, to make it easier for Ruben to feed me, because he's gonna be. I'm off for a month, but Ruben's off for uh two weeks, so that way it's easier for him to feed me because I'm a crybaby. And then I got arnica pills. Um, they have teas and stuff, but I got the arnica pill because it helps with bruising, swelling, stiffness, and pain. So this should help me out. Then I got these little socks to wear to the OR because they have little peaches on them. So that's appropriate. And then these are for after my surgery. They're compression socks because a lot of people's feet and legs get swollen because of the circulation. So I got those. I bought me one Faja uh, from Walmart. And it's not really a tight one because they don't have a lot of comp like... Um, uh, what's it called, like firmness at Walmart, but this one's good for when I wash the other three that they're going to give me at the plastic surgeon because I have to take a shower. I have to do everything with the Faha. I can't take it off until like I think a few days after I get my surgery done, then I'll go in and get the drains out. And then I got a heck of these puppy pads. These I just got at the dollar store when I was there, but they're extra large. And they're just so that I could put them underneath me so I don't get blood all over my blankets and stuff. And then I got this. It's a muscle rolling stick. So, see, it rolls like that. Because you got to massage your stomach out because there's going to be a lot of fluids and swelling and blood and stuff but I also have a friend who's a massage therapist and she's going to be coming out every other day to give me lymphatic massages I heard those help a lot and then I got this big pillow it's a pregnancy pillow but since I can't sleep on my butt my back or my stomach or my I think I can only sleep on my side they said that this helps you out so you could stay centered and then this is supposed to be my best friend the whole time it's a BBL pillow. I got it on Amazon. And most of this stuff I got at TJ Maxx or Walmart um, or Amazon. So this one, so if I do have to sit, which I'm not supposed to because the fat needs to settle. Um, uh, this is supposed to help me sit when I have to be in the car and stuff. But um, so a BBL is when you get 360 lipo. So fat taken out from the top of your stomach, mid section, the bottom of your stomach your sides, your upper back, and lower back, and then it gets transferred to your butt to make you a huge, fat, old ass. Mm. <laughs> you caught me at the wrong moment. My mouth is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what the BBL pillow's for. And then I got granny panties because they told me to. Hot. Yeah. And then <laughs> I got um, all these sweats and then the zip-up hoodies. Um, because they said that I need to have something that's loose and comfort, comfortable to wear. So I got a few sets of them and I got them at Walmart because they're super cheap. Just so in case I get blood on them and stuff, it doesn't even freaking matter because I'll just throw them out. Then I also got my prescriptions already. And so I got, um, Norco. Was it Norco? Yeah. 
And then I got this one is um, an antibiotic. And then this one is a little patch that goes behind my ear for nausea. So I'm ready for it. I'm super duper scared. But because I've never been put to sleep. But hopefully everything goes okay. So everybody wish me well. And I'll just keep recording. This one's pretty freaking random. But uh, I just wanted to show everything that I had to get to prepare for it. And then I'll make another video telling you guys more when I get my paperwork. Because where did I leave my paperwork? In the car. So, yeah, I think I left in the car. So I'll read some of it to you guys and tell you all the stuff I had to avoid and stuff like that. And if you want to know where I went, I'm going to go in Roseville here in California. His name is Dr. Lee. And he comes really recommended. So I'll tell you guys more about him in my next little video because I'm tired of recording.